How's it going everybody? Hope you're having a great day so far. In today's video, we are back in the edge finder, but we're going to take a look at a part of the edge finder that I don't think that we've taken a look at yet. And that is going to be retail sentiment right here. We're pretty familiar with the smart money tracker. If you're keeping up with our videos, our smart money tracker is of course our COT data analyzer or institutional trader data. That is what all this is here. This is the big money uh, prop firm people, the people who are getting paid the big bucks to trade this stuff. That is this data here. But what about the everyday day to day traders like you and me? Well, that right here is retail sentiment. So if we go into here, a little bit different looking than our smart money tracker, but all of this right here, this retail sentiment is day to day uh, normal just day traders. This is what the average person is buying and selling. And so we see that we have our long and our short here, and we have it listed from our biggest sell to our biggest buy from bottom to top or top to bottom, the buy being at the top and the sell being at the bottom. And we also have our COT data or institutional trader data right here as well for comparison. So like we can see, uh, I just did a video on the smart money tracker yesterday and US oil was our biggest buy sitting at around 78%. And if we compare that to retail traders, we see a little bit of a difference here. We can see USO right here, that's US oil. We're only sitting at about 59% uh, long or 59% buy for retail traders. So this is good information to know because you can kind of determine what's a good buy and what's a good sell based on what uh, the institutional traders are doing, what the day traders are doing. Here's a free Discord channel every Forex trader should join. You get access to daily trade ideas, market scans, and market coverage for what's happening in the Forex world today. See what professional traders are thinking on things like GBP, JPY, gold, and Euro USD. And the best part, it's totally free. Click the link on this video and it will take you to a Telegram chat with one of our team members. Send them the word apply and we'll get you in the free Discord shortly after. Are they uh, looking to buy in the same areas? Are they looking to sell in the same areas? If everybody is buying one commodity, maybe you want to flip it, go the opposite side, hope that it switches and goes on a, uh, a downward trend. This is all useful information to know um, because there's just so much different information and news coming out of the markets that you just want to be as up to date as possible. So again, we have our COT data, institutional trader data here and day trader or retail trader data here. So we can take a look. Our top buy right now on the retail side is NZDCAD at 92% long and only 8% short. While down here, our uh, top sell would be the Aussie New Zealand at 97% short and only 3% long. Okay. And that is actually pretty consistent with what we see on the COT side as well. We can see that the Aussie dollar right here is currently their top short at 74%. So we're seeing the Aussie dollar on the bottom, both here on the retail side and the COT side. Now, that's not the only thing that we can do here in the retail sentiment uh, section of the edge finder. If you want to get a little more in depth on anything, let's say we're not looking to trade currency pairs right now. We're only looking to trade indices and commodities. Well, we go right up here to category and we can select uh, whatever we want to look at. So like I just said, say we don't want to look at any currency pairs at the moment. Just unselect both of these and there we go. Retail side, we see we have gold, oil, the US 30, German 30, SPX 500, UK 100, and JP 225. Those are our indices and commodity, commodities that we currently have listed in the edge finder. So we can take a look at that. We can see like gold here, 60% uh, long, 40% uh, short on the retail side. But let's say we just wanna look at uh, the currency pairs. So we can check those, uncheck these. 
have just currency pairs here. Maybe we only want to look at the major currency pairs. So let's just pretend we have everything selected. We only want to look at major currency. Just click only right here. And there we go. Unchecks everything else. And there we go. We have all of our dollar pairs right here. So go ahead and bring all of this stuff back in. What if we want to look at something really specific? What if we want to look at uh, only... What if we want to look at only pound pairs? Well, I can actually type in GBP and we can see that we have all of our pound pairs here, but maybe, maybe I just want to look at GBP CAD. So we can click that and there we go. There's our information on GBP CAD, 91% long, 9% short. Uh, I could go through and select any of these. So maybe uh if i type in again gbp like i said i only want to look at the pound pairs since i have this one selected i can go ahead and gbp aud gbp chf jpy nzd usd there we go now i've got all my pound pairs here i can look at them from top to bottom super useful and then if i just click this button up here boom it'll bring everything back in so let's say there's a couple other little features that we have in here. Say you wanna switch the order of our COT data. So if we come down here and we move our way up, you can see right here, there's a little AZ uh, button that says sort. If I click on that, I can switch it however I want. See, so we have the long up top, maybe we want short up top. So there we go, that just flips the whole chart. Uh, we also have sort by COT. You could do it this way as well. A little bit of a different way to look at it and i'm going to change it back to long like that so there we go that was a quick look at retail sentiment the retail sentiment section in the edge finder but this is not the only place that we can find this information if you're really familiar with the edge finder you know that you can find this information on any of our pairs when you go into the full breakdown so i'm just going to pick one at random how about usd jpy right here so if i click on usd jpy to take me to the full breakdown of the usd jpy page we can see that we have our retail sentiment listed right down here so right here retail sentiment we can see that we have the 26 percent long and 74 percent short here on the usd jpy page and that is going to be you can find this information on any of our uh pair breakdowns i'll just pick another one just to show you uh how about a minor currency pair let's see pick one at random eurocad sure eurocad so if we go into eurocad page right here retail sentiment 66 percent long 34 percent short and it's right next to our uh, cot data as well again that we just kind of talked about we can look at the cot data for the individual pairs as well we have the euro and the canadian dollar broken up long short there retail sentiment on the pair as a whole right here Okay, so that was a look at uh, retail sentiment and how to read what day traders are buying and selling here in the Edge Finder. Hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time.